this has been a major problem uh, i have been seeing this particular thing that kali linux freezes in virtual box and other virtualization softwares uh, in since it has been the new version of that kali linux has been released and to solve that i just looked at uh, some look uh, up some forums and the first one that i found was from virtual box where someone was querying that Kali Linux virtual box freezes during work and it dates back to this year's January month on 27th of January to be particular so we can see that this person is using Windows 10 as their host and they have 32 GB of RAM and they are assigning around 12 GB of RAM to Kali Linux and it is still hang it's still freezing so one of the answers one of the responses that came was to disable i mean this per person also posted their uh, kind of log and this person might have gone through it and they said that they should uh, disable this hyper v thing that comes in uh, windows 10 and i don't know whether it comes in other windows or not so to do that i think i, I just went on one of those documents by kali uh, sorry the microsoft and I found this particular thing. So here also you can see that they mentioned that many third party virtualization applications don't work together with Hyper-V. It is something. And affected applications include VMware Workstation and VirtualBox. So these applications might not start virtual machine or they, might, they may fall back to a slower emulated mode. So the very first thing that comes to mind is how to disable it but before that they tell you how to determine whether the hypervisor is actually running on the system or not so to do that you can just um, click on uh, i mean the, the search button that we have the windows button and then we can just search for this particular thing the ms info 32.exe so i will do that and after i hit enter i am presented with this kind of interface let me just go back and read what they are telling so here we can see that they are telling to search i mean select system information and stuff like that and we will be finding hyper v and if i just zoom in a little bit which is we can see that they there is written hypervisor has been detected and something like that so let us see if that is the case with us or not so let me go back to that ms info 32.exe and here we are now here let me just uh, find hyper let me see if that can do that and we can see that a hypervisor has been directed and features required for hyper v will not be displayed uh, something similar thing and you can see i have 8 gb of ram as well and so a, a similar kind of thing has been presented here so we can uh, i mean say that hyper v is installed on our system so what do we have to do next we just go back to that documentation and we can see here that uh, if you want to read all of this i will be providing the link to this particular documentation and that documentation of virtual box as well so we have to i mean disable it let's try and disable it and then see how Kali Linux works so there are two ways to do that the first way is either you can open up control panel and the second way is either you can open up PowerShell as an administrator and just copy this particular command and it will do the thing for you so let me show you both of those ways so first of all let me go to the uh, I mean let me open up control panel which I have already opened up here as you can see so here what we have to do is simply click on programs mm, wait let me just show you what they say so for this uh, just a second so for uh, this particular control panel option we have to select programs and features or simply programs in our case and then something like turn windows features on or off and then uncheck all these boxes and we have to expand these and then uncheck so let's do that and let me just go back and here we are so let me click on programs 
then here we can see the option of turn windows features on or off so let me click on that and let me see if you can see a pop-up box appear wait a second you might not be able to see it just a second so when you click on that you will be presented with a feature like a, a pop-up pop-up box like this so I hope it is visible now and this one so what we have to do here now is all you have to do is just uh, scroll down so we can see that hyper dash V uh, the option this option has been selected here so let's just expand it all those things and what we have to do is just uncheck it okay maybe not expand it just uncheck it and it will happen so when you click on ok it should do the thing so when I clicked on ok a new pop-up window appeared it should appear for you as well and then it will ask you maybe uh, to restart the system and if it does then you should and after that uh, I have tried this and uh, before disabling Hyper-V the performance of Kali Linux I mean whenever I booted it up it hanged as might be the case with you as well so it used to hang and when I disabled Hyper-V then I mean it stopped hanging and it was working fine so that might be the case with you so give it a try and if it doesn't work just go back there in the control wherever we navigated in the control panel and switch this option on again because it might but if you are if you know what uh, this is helping I mean if you are using something which is utilizing Hyper-V then you can ch check this option if it is uh, if you are not using something that is utilizing this particular process then you can uncheck this so it is upon you so let's go on the second uh, option or the second way that we can disable this particular thing okay for that I will have to enable it maybe once again mm, so let me just go back there and here I'll click on this thing so you might not be able to see it but I am just enabling the Hyper-V once again so it will take a little bit of time and it has done it so let me just just for okay we are at the documentation right now so let me scroll down so here it is very simple it says to disable Hyper-V by using Windows PowerShell follow these steps so it says open an elevated PowerShell which means as an administrator so you can just search the PowerShell and open it up as a as an administrator and after that what you have to do is just copy this particular piece of uh, command you can say and I'll just copy it and then let us open up a PowerShell so here we are as an administrator and let me just paste it with control V and when I hit enter we can see some things happening here and it says do you want to restart the computer uh, to complete this operation now so which means that we have to restart the computer for the processes the I mean whatever we are doing to take place so I'll just hit no because I'm recording right now I'll re restart it later but you can hit Y and then so the thing has been done A restart needed is all is also saying true so after that when I, I mean I have already explained that when I have done, done this when I did this Kali Linux was working perfectly fine for me and I hope it works fine for you as well so give it a try and see what happens so and yes these links uh, of these documentations these forums will be provided in the description so check them out as well and thank you for watching